We are back from Murph 2018. Yes, Colin and I are back from Goshen, Indiana, where we attended the Midwest Rip Rap Festival, and we had a great time. We got to meet a bunch of the 3D printing community members, and we handed out a ton of swag. There were so many cool things that happened over this last weekend, but let's just go over some of the highlights. First off, we were able to print on the Mini Delta in the car. We did do a quick video, and we attempted a live stream that didn't turn out so well, but we tried. First ever live stream of a 3D printer in a moving car? Maybe. As promised, here's a shot of the very creative webcam mount I rigged up with a pair of pliers, a clamp, and a rubber band. We got into Goshen around 9.30 Friday night, and we headed over to Murph and met up with Ron from Brew It, Print It, Build It, Blast It. We hung out with Ron for a little while, but then we headed back to the hotel room to get some rest to prepare for Saturday. We got to Murph at about 10 o'clock Saturday morning, and everything was already in full swing. We met up with some of our friends right away. Glenn and Xander from Fun King 3D, Matt from In the Mind of Matt, of course Ron was still there, and there were many others. We also got to stop and talk with Dave from Matter Hackers for a minute, and we gave him the filament mascot that we printed in the car on the way there. We also met up with James from Print and Play, and he came bearing gifts. He brought me these sweet, old school Atari 2600 cartridges to add to my collection. Thanks again, James. Very cool. We spent most of the day wandering around looking at cool 3D printer setups, meeting people, YouTubers, and some of my subscribers. Thank you to all the people that came up to say hey, I tried to get to as many people as I could and get them as much swag as possible. I did get to meet a few of the bigger YouTubers, Joel Telling and Tom. I also got to talk to Joe Prusa for a little while, which was great. But there was one person I met that I wasn't expecting. Oh, hi, how's it going? Yep, that's him, Ben Heck. He's been one of my favorite content creators for some time now, and I was super excited that I got to meet him and shake his hand. So we spent pretty much the rest of the day walking around Murph and looking at all kinds of cool stuff. We got to see the BFG 9000 from Midnight Giant. We also got to see the Iron Giant from Chaos Core Tech. We stopped and watched the giant Part Daddy Delta printer for a while. I also got to meet Walter from Country 3D and see his printer. It has 3D printed extrusion on it. That's a really cool printer and a great idea. I might have to give that a try sometime. Another highlight is when I heard my name over my shoulder and I turn around and it's Thomas from Arduino Makes. I'm so glad I got to meet him and that he got to come to Murph this year. I got so many cool things from people at Murph, I don't want to miss anybody, so let's do a quick montage now. So we hung around most of the day, we had some tacos, and then Saturday night it started to wind down, and we got to have a long talk with Chuck Hellebuck and Daniel from the ModBot channel. We also got to meet Daniel Noré. He's the one behind the OpenRC project. We also got a personal tour of the E3D tool changing printer, which is just amazing. The accuracy of it just blows my mind. Definitely check it out here. So that was it for Saturday. After a long day, we headed back to the hotel to get some sleep. And then we got up early Sunday to start our nine hour journey on our way home. And the first thing that happened was this. Yes, the good people at the Indiana State Patrol didn't seem to like the rate of speed that I was traveling at. I did try to bribe the officer with some 3D printed swag, but it didn't seem to work. He was nice enough to let us off with a warning and we did attempt to keep it under the speed limit for the rest of the trip. The next thing that happened when I got about five hours outside of Goshen, I realized I left some of the video equipment in the hotel room. Luckily, James from Print and Play was still in Goshen, and he ran over there and picked it up for me, and he's going to mail it to me. He really stepped in to save the day. A big thanks to James again. I owe you one. It was a long weekend, but an eventful one. I'm so glad I got to meet a lot of you in person and see the projects that you're working on, and all this really cool stuff in general. Last but not least, I want to thank Colin from Colin Makes Stuff for joining me on this trip. 
He got a lot of great video footage and he made this trip much easier for me to take on. I can't thank him enough. We had a great time. I hope to see a lot of you again soon and even more of you at Murph next year. And as always, thanks for watching.